This video is going to show highlights from how I reassembled the rear drum brake shoes on this 2001 Dodge Dakota. This footage was compiled from a larger project where I replaced some brake lines, the wheel cylinders, disassembled and reassembled the brake shoes, and uh, also fixed the parking brake cable. Um, I had originally thought of making one big long video showing all of that, but uh, decided to break it up into separate videos once I started editing everything. Okay, I'm going to start the reassembly process here with prepping the uh, wheel cylinders. And you can see I've got one here ready to go. I've taken the bleeder screw out of it for now. And uh, what I'm going to end up doing is putting some anti-seize compound on the threads here. Just so that if I have to bleed the brakes uh, in the future, it might be a little easier to get these things off. I don't know if that stuff really helps, but uh, we'll give it a you can see here I've got the two calipers or um, cylinders prepped and ready to go. Um, I had to reuse the old plungers from the old cylinders as well as the old hold down bolts. bolts. I've just got these in here right now so I don't lose them. Uh, but now these will be ready to put back on the truck. Now I've got the wheel cylinder here on the passenger side. I'm just going to fit this in back to the original hole. And I'm going to get it kind of lined up so the bolts can be put in the back there. Okay, so I've got the trailing shoe on here, and I've got the uh, parking brake lever behind it. And I'm getting ready to put the spring back on. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is put this retaining clip on for the parking brake lever and that will help hold that lever onto the shoe. Let's see if I can get this started by hand. Okay, I've got it started there. Okay, I've got that started, so now I'm going to just try and tap it the rest of the way on. And that's kind of at a funny angle, so I'm going to try and spin it without popping it off. Okay, so you can see that that's on there now. Next thing that I'll do is try and reattach this lever. Now, on the other side, I put this lever on at the same time I put the shoes on. In other words, with the, the springs. And that proved to be a little bit challenging. I'm hoping I can do it this way this time. Let me try this side first. And this might be a little easier. Next I'm going to put the adjuster in, and I've got this cranked all the way in to its shortest setting. I can always work that back out later. And this should go in like this with the threaded end towards the front of the truck. So I'm just going to put this in and this lines up to the, the uh, gaps in the pad there. Next what I'm going to do is put this spring on, the bottom spring, to help hold the shoes together. Just flips, clips through that hole. Offer. 
Okay, took a quick break for supper. Now you can see I've got this spring on and uh, I've used the vice grips again to kind of hold that and, and bring it over. Um, it makes it a little easier and partly I have tendonitis in my arms so it makes it easier to kind of grip. Okay, as you can see I've got the adjuster in there now and uh, everything is together. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, if I can find it, put this plate on. And this just goes up here over the post and then I'm going to put on this cable and that goes over the post as well and wraps around, oh I guess my uh, guide fell off, I'll have to put that back on. What'd you find, bud? I found this that actually goes to to to, to not dirt pile. It's not dirt. It's a metal thing. Let me see. Oh, that goes to the tarp. Yeah. Yeah, that came off that old tarp that we have. And it fell on the. It fell on the. Oh. It fell on the Thanks for picking that up. I found it. As I said, this routes around this guide keep everything together here without knocking everything off. Okay, so that'll hang down and that'll go on the, the brake adjuster once I re reinstall that. So this, this spring is going to go kind of like this over this post down here. And I should, probably should have waited to install that. So that's going to go over that post like that. And then here's the adjusting lever. And that's, this is going to slip over that post like this. And then this spring is going to wrap around it and kind of hold it in place. Kind of like that. So then, after we get this wrapped around this guide again, this hook that's on the end of this right here is going to hook around the adjusting lever tension on it to help keep it. And then I'll bring this up, put that on, and now you can see that that should be more or less correct. Alright, the next thing to do is to put this smaller of the two top springs in, and this just hooks around this guide plate. Trying to get it in there without popping that plate off again. Okay, so it goes kind of like that, I think. And then I'm going to use these vice grips again to help pull this spring on. Just so I don't have to squeeze it as hard with a regular pair of pliers. Okay, so you can see that that's how that goes. So now with that in place, I take the shorter and fatter of the two springs and put it on this side and attempt to do the same thing with the vice grips. Although well, there's a little less room here, so this spring's a little harder to pull. There. Okay, and that, that should pretty much take care of the reassembly of the brake drum. Um, I've got the adjuster still kind of turned in quite a bit, and that'll make it easy for the drum to go over. And then once I get the drums on, I'll, uh, I'll adjust those through the, the back of the drum, and I'll show that later. But the, uh, the next thing to do now is to uh, tackle the original problem here, which was uh, to replace the brake lines. 
but I think I'll save that for another day as it's getting kind of late today. Late. That's all the footage I have showing the reassembly of the rear drum brake shoes on this 2001 Dodge Dakota. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching.